ceremony going on here. Of preparing for a wedding. Local drums, of course, and then. That's easy. Uh, Kwema. Uh, salama. Le asante, asante. Leo Nina Tangaza, Kilwa Masoko, Kwa Kwisudi Utali. Uh, so, so, so uh, Kikilwa Masoko, Koko Vipi Siko Hizi. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu Vipi hali, wema, leo mimi nipo kilwa masoko Karibuni Tanzania, karibuni kilwa masoko Welcome to kilwa masoko Or in the beautiful language of Kiswahili Karibuni mji wa kilwa masoko it is the seat of government for the Kilwa district and a port town in the Lindi region in southeastern Tanzania. Kilwa Mosoko is the second largest town in the Kilwa district. To give you, my viewers, a brief history of the place, it is important to note, for over a millennia, the Kilwa Masoko area was originally inhabited by the Mwera people, allegedly. However, in the 10th to the 16th century, the area was part of the Swahili city-states that span along the East African coast, based at the prosperous Swahili city of Kilwa Kisiwani, across the Kilwa Sound. The name Masoko means markets in the language of Swahili. The town of Kilwa Masoko, as we know today, was established as the seat for the Kilwa district after the British in 1918 and they built a deep water port at the site for their vessels. So I'm currently at Kilwa Masoko and right now I'm at like the bus terminal where a lot of the intercity buses will come when you arrive to Kilwa Masoko. Now right in front of me there there's a bus that says Mashallah coach this is a very popular coach for the southern region when you're coming to southern Tanzania. If you're going to Kilwa Masoko, you're going to Lindi and these places, this coach is very, very reliable. It has a good reputation and you can, if you're in Dar es Salaam, you can get this coach from an area called Mbagala. So yeah, this is where they will terminate when they come to Kilwa Masoko and this is where you'll most likely arrive when you're first coming here. Okay, so I'm going to walk around. Like I said in the induction, Kilwa Masoko in Swahili, it's a place of ma it's markets. Masoko means markets. So they have many shopping areas in this spot. And we're going to walk around, have a bit of a wonder, and give you an idea of what it's like here in Kilwa Masoko. It's morning time, so things are picking up slowly. And um, we'll see if we can perhaps talk to some people or... explore the various other areas and streets here in Kilwa Masoko. So, Twendeni, Karibuni Tanzania, Karibuni Kilwa Masoko. That's easy. Ah, salama. Nina Nina Tangaza Kilwa Masoko Pakusudi Utali Leo. Ah. So this is a man. How about you? Salam. So this here is the back street heading towards the shopping area here in Kilwa Masoko. These are some of the shops you'll find. You could get different uh, music, DVDs, you know. Some of those things people will be interested in. So this is the inside market here in Kilwa Masoko.
so you can get you know your basic stuff like okras I'm bad if you barely and these are all the greens you can get here things like quema Everywhere I go in Tanzania, I'm seeing a lot of nyanya, which is known as tomatoes in English. Bibi Ali, Salama. Ah, salama. Everywhere I travel within Tanzania, I'm seeing a lot of uh, tomatoes, carrots. This country is indeed has a lot of fruits and vegetables. So, if you're a person that likes these things, you're spoiled for choice in Tanzania because they are in abundance. Ah, salama. Ah, nzuri sana. Leo nina tangaza. Leo nina tangaza kilo masoko kwa kusudi eh utali. Utali eh. eh asante. <laughs> I love bananas here. Many bananas. Bananas in abundance in this region. I'm a VIP. Shukwani Bana. So that was the inside of the market there. Let's see what else we can find outside. More shops in the back here and there are a lot of um, small um, restaurants where you can get breakfast. So we got a bit of the modern style brooms here and right next to it you will find the older style brooms locally made. Salam. Mongo. 
Light Shine Brain Primary School Education for Bright Future Waisasa na Fasili Chache Come on. That's easy. Uh, Kwema. Ah, salama. Le asante, asante. Leo nina tangaza kilwa masoko kwa kuisudi utalii. Sawa. Uh, so, so, so uh, kilwa masoko koko vipi siku hizi? <laughs> siku hizi kilwa masoko kwa vizuri kama unavona. Vizuri, ya? Eh? Uh, Okay, so we we ni mwenyeji hapa? Mimi nusu ya mwenyeji, maana yake na miaka kama 30 hivi nipo hapa. Okay, sawa. Jina lako ni nani? Naitwa Asani Mohamed Chopi. Ah, mashallah, jina mzuri sana. <laughs> na wewe? Ah, oh, mimi mgeni. <laughs> Unatoka wapi? Oh, Hapo ama. Okay. Asante. Kutoka hapa ni Kilwa Kisiwani ni shilingi ingapi? pale kutoka pale maneke kwa hiyo unaweza kutoka mpaka maeneo ya bandari kitu au utapanda chopo kwa So this is like a back street, not even a back street, the name of the road is Pande Road. And um, it's literally behind the main bus station and the market area where we just walk walk by. So I guess here you, it's, you'll see a lot of um, places where people live, of course, and many businesses. Like to my right, right now, this is actually a barber shop. So that's barber shop there. Very peaceful village, guys. It reminds me. Of Pangani, you know, this is southern Tanzania, but it's still got that calm, calming vibe about it. It's a guest house right here. You find them a lot when you go to um, these little towns. These are more local styles, of course, they're more upscale ones. For those who are looking for maybe a higher standards but these are like the local guest house you get and many people from different towns in Tanzania that visit this area will come to places like these and some may go to the upscale one but those who are on a particular budget will go to these locals one you know to be something like a wedding ceremony going on here of preparing for a wedding local drums of course and then songs in the Swahili language So we're back from the main park. Kwema? Salama. Sante. So we're back to the same spot.
spot where we were, where I started this video. And you can see, pretty much it's a quite walkable market when you do, if you, when you come here. Of course, like, what have we seen so far? Well, we've seen, of course, fruits and vegetables is in abundance. We've seen the, the mini tea shops. They got barber shops and, you know, basic fashion boutiques and things like that quiet today and you'll find this a lot in a lot of the um, coastal towns you know it has a kind of sleepy feel to it I mean business do happen but still got a sleepy feeling to it like right here we got the supermarket there's a mini supermarket right here so there are things you can get you know drinks and other snacks and stuff so that's good Habarizeno. Uh, salama. Asante. I do trust you have had a wonderful experience watching today's episode. And there's still much more to learn. The southeastern region of Tanzania is often neglected by travelers who visit Tanzania. But in my view, it shouldn't be. It definitely has a lot to offer, from amazing beaches and coastline, and to its greatest treasure, its people welcoming and friendly when you visit their town. Definitely give the southeastern region a try when you come to Tanzania. My name is Wemba Imani and thank you for watching Inspire for Travel. Ma salam, kwaheri.